it's Ty Bug and welcome back. I'll explain my makeup in just a second. So the other day I was shopping at Don Quixote because honestly Don Quixote is one of my favorite stores. I'm not quite sure how to describe Don Quixote. So in Hawaii, Don Quixote is very different from the Don Quixotes that I visited when I was in Japan. The ones here have um, some of the department store stuff but it's mostly food and um, some makeup, but it's more Americanized, if that makes sense. So it doesn't have all the same Japanese, Korean, uh, Chinese, all the other Asian uh, food products or uh, just other marketed products. So I was kind of surprised while I was there to see Japanese Halloween candy because I didn't know if uh, they celebrated Halloween Japan or if it was marketed towards Americans. So I decided to do some research to educate myself because if you're curious about something, just look it up. That's the beauty of the internet. So I looked it up and to my understanding, so this is just a, what I learned from the internet. It's not all encompassing. If you guys have better insight, please leave a comment down below. But to my understanding, celebrating Halloween in Japan is fairly new. I think it's happened in the 1990s and it was caused by the Halloween celebrations at Tokyo Disneyland. So the celebrations at Tokyo Disneyland was kind of like the catalyst and then the celebrations from there kind of branched out to the rest of Japan. And it's very popular amongst the cosplayers, young adults, and people of drinking age. And it's not celebrated the same way we do it in America. In Japan, they don't go trick-or-treating with the candy because they don't want to inconvenience their neighbors. So like going door to door would be an inconvenience to my understanding, please, to my understanding. So what they do is they have like costumes and like schools that have abroad students, they'll do it with everyone. So everyone gets the kind of experience, but it's not the same. So. I saw all these different types of candies when I was at the store and I was like, I just have to try it all because I was planning to go to Japan before all of this happened. So this is like my little taste of Japan while I'm waiting for the world situation to get better. So I have a whole bunch of different candies because I went shopping by myself so there was no one to tell me to restrain my money. I will go through them one by one. I'll be tasting each of the little flavors they have in the packets. But um, unfortunately, I won't be able to tell you what it says on the package because I haven't reached that level uh, in Japanese. I'm starting to learn uh, Japanese right now because I want to be more independent when I go back to Japan because that is part of the plan. So eventually I'll get there, but right now I don't have that type of knowledge. So right now I'm going to show you footage of what I saw when I was in Don Quixote. Okay, so the first thing, let's start off with the Pokemon one because I love Pokemon. And look at it, it's Pikachu! You can't, the lighting is okay. Pikachu! Oh yeah, I was gonna describe my makeup. So this makeup is uh, a makeup look I did for Halloween. It is my Hades makeup look. I will be posting that next week, so it'll be a tutorial on how you guys can get this look. I had black lipstick on, but I took that off because I wanted to eat food comfortably. So yeah, that's what this is. I will link it up above if you guys are watching this after I've already posted the next video. So anyways, Pikachu, let's just open it up. And they have a Gengar. And here, on the side they have, uh, oh my God, I forgot their names. 
It's the new generation of Pokemon, the water type and the grass type. And then Eevee. My favorite Pokemon is Vulpix. I have a Vulpix keychain on my um, backpack. And the prices for these were really, really fair considering what it was. I don't know if that's just because I got it at a Japanese. Um, I don't know if Don Quixote is specifically Japanese or if it's like in other parts of the world. I. I do have a very small view of the world right now because I haven't traveled a lot and my education was American based, but I'm trying to learn more. So please, please, please help me if there's anything you feel I should know. Of course, I picked the one that I forget the name for. In my Pokemon game, I named him Groot. So we're just gonna call him Groot. And let's... It looks like a chocolate um, Rice Krispie treat, maybe? This was about $5 for all of this. But this is a pretty big package. So I don't think these are meant to be passed out for a Halloween candy, because that's not how they celebrate Halloween. But since it's here in America, I would figure they would pass this out for Halloween candy. But this is a good size thing to get in your Halloween basket. Ooh, it smells like Rice Krispie treats. So this is the little Pikachu. And let's give it a taste. You know Cocoa Puffs? That's exactly what this tastes like. It's kind of sweet, but like not overly sweet. And then you like have the little rice taste in the back. But there's a good amount of stuff in there. Okay, I'm not going to eat a whole bunch because I have a lot of candy to try, but that is the Pokemon treats. Oh my god, they're Pokemon treats! It makes sense! Ah! I mean, don't give this to any pets because it's chocolate, but oh my god, it's so cute. And I think they're all the same flavor, but um, let me see if I can find another. <gasps> it's Mini Q! Look at how cute! I love it! Oh my gosh! Let me see. Okay, here's Eevee. We got Eevee. Gengar. And Pikachu. Oh gosh, I want to save the outsides, but it's going to be all foodie. Ugh. This is the first candy I saw when I was at Don Quixote. It is this kind of ghost marshmallow wafer. I have no idea what this says. I wish I did. Right now I'm still learning the sounds of the characters and like um, basic words, but I'm not good at reading at all. But it looks like they're all the same flavor. So let's try that now. Ooh, this got kind of melted. And it's very soft. So I thought it was a cracker wafer, but I don't think so. It's stretchy. I don't like it. Oh, I was really looking forward to that because I love marshmallow. Okay, next is a Halloween chocolate and pumpkin biscuits. This one looks pretty interesting. Hopefully it didn't get melted like the other one. We got Donald Duck, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy. Okay, I'm gonna try a pumpkin one because I assume I'll know what a chocolate one tastes like. And, oh, it comes with pumpkin and chocolate, I guess. That's actually kind of a good idea for when you're passing it out. Like if a kid or an adult wants a specific flavor, you get both. So this shows the pumpkin and then the chocolate. Ooh, it smells super good. That's a good cookie. Like, it's not too thick. The cream isn't, like, all the way. It's, like, perfect, perfect, perfect. Mmm. Let's try a hard candy one. Don't know what this is either. But they kind of look a little gummy. Two soda flavors. I think just a regular soda and then a cola. Uh, orange and grape. I don't really like grape flavors, but... We'll see how it tastes. Candy, high chew, mini punch. Oh! 
It's Haichu! So I think this one is just the soda flavored. Or is this gum? I'm gonna keep chewing to make sure it's not gum. I think it is Haichu, but like it has a harder outside. I think that's what it was trying to describe. You're making me salivate. Okay, it's gone now. But then they have a whole bunch of flavors and... Let's try the grape one, the one I don't think I'll like. Oh, look. It's really strong. It's a really strong... It's a really strong flavor. I'm okay. Okay, I'm gonna change... I'm gonna... Should I have, have the Sanrio ones now? So they had um, one with all the Sanrio characters and the one just with Hello Kitty. So I figured I'd just get the one with all the Sanrio characters. As it is, I've tried four candies already and that's four packages of $5, so that's $20. That's a lot of money I've spent on you guys, but it's okay because I wanted an excuse to eat candy. <laughs> so this is a Sanrio. It looks like little cakeies. I don't remember all the Sanrio characters. I haven't been that into Hello Kitty in a while. I do still wonder though if these are like more um, Americanized because they're at the American store. So if you guys have Don Quixote where you guys are, send me pictures on my Twitter, Instagram and show me what you guys have for your candies. Oh, they have like little games on the front. This one has a little maze. This one has all the characters. So I don't know if they're telling me which type of candy, if I'm getting the chocolate or the, I think it's pumpkin or vanilla flavor on the back. Oh, they are. They're different characters. So I'm assuming this one is chocolate because it's written in brown and this one is the other one because it's written in orange. Vanilla or pumpkin one. It's not as squishy as I thought it would be. I thought it looked more cake-like. This is like a vanilla wafer, vanilla wafers. I like inhaled a really gross flavor. I think it's just vanilla. But you know when you inhale and like it tastes different from how it, it tastes on your tongue? So you like a mix of two flavors? That's what happened and it was really weird. It has a little bit of a cream filling, but like even less than thin Oreos. It's not a bad flavor. It's not bad. It's just... I don't know how to describe it. It's like, not satisfying. Let's say that. Okay, next let's try these little panda treats. This is so cute. It's a panda vampire. <laughs> ah, I've seen this character before. I don't know what they are called, but I love it. I love it so much. This is baked, oh, they're baked wheat cookies again. I thought these were just chocolate pieces. Oh, but it's part of Save the Panda Ueno Zoo Zoological Gardens. I wonder if that's in Japan. But I'm excited to try them. And they have a whole bunch of different faces you can get. Up to 70 faces, I think that says. Let's give it a taste. Okay, so it's, ooh, it's a little bit melted. So it's a little happy panda, white chocolate and Milk chocolate, probably. A little smiley panda. And it's melted. Okay. That doesn't taste like white chocolate. It tastes like condensed milk. Oh man, and I have a whole bunch of it. Ah, I don't like it. You know what it tastes like? It kind of tastes like cheap chocolate. Last but not least of my Japanese Halloween candy adventure are these little ice cream cone things. I've seen these everywhere before, literally all the time. Like when I go to um, Made in Hawaii festivals, they always have these for like the Japanese and Asian section. And I've always wanted to try them, but they come in huge packs. It looks like it has strawberry, chocolate, and 
milk. I love this one, Little Devil. <laughs> so it looks like it has mostly chocolate. Four chocolates, three milks, and three strawberry. So I'm not sure what it's trying to say. Because it has like um, no sun. And then it's like talking about something here. I'm not quite sure what it means. Oh, is there something you can make a mask out of? <gasps> I can make a mask. That's what it's trying to say. I just dumped everything out to do that. Well, that's kind of cool because then the packaging isn't a waste. Let's try the chocolate one first since we probably know what chocolate tastes like. Oops. Yep, that's what I expected. It does taste like ice cream, like um, astronaut ice cream. So it's probably dehydrated ice cream what they did. This tastes a lot like an ice cream cone that's probably just an ice cream cone. But together, excellent, excelente. Let's try the strawberry one. Oh man, I messed it up. I messed up the top part. Tastes like a strawberry Kit Kat. Cheers! Mmm. There's chocolate at the bottom too. I got seven different candies to try for you guys. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if I got any of the information wrong about Japanese Halloween celebrations. I really, really try to be as accurate as possible, but I do understand that everything I get from the internet isn't from the perspective of someone who lives in that culture. So I may be wrong. So please, please, please let me know and I will try to correct it in the description or the comments or post about it on Twitter. Also, let me know if you guys have Don Quixote where you are and what types of things they're doing for Halloween. I love Halloween and just seeing what everyone tries to do to market to it. I, I just, I love the commercial side of Halloween as well. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye!